Okay, doing something scary here. Took apart my FedTrack HD. This is just the power source for the um, rapid fire. And I took out this board here where the barrel connector sits. And I want to solder the little faceplate fan cable which runs just behind the foam. Solder this directly to this plug here. So I eliminate the need to connect balancer plug to this connector here all the time and turn it on. I don't need this 8 minute timer here. I'm okay with this fan running just hold it the whole time because I need it all the time. And yeah, this way I can only use two cell lipos here, not three cell ground station thingies, but I'm okay with this as well because this fan here only works with two cell. Don't want to have this failure like on the last flight session where I couldn't fly because my goggles were fogging up because this fan didn't run because the connector on my LiPo was defective. So that's the whole point of this today. Solder this directly to this board. Okay, on the back there is red and on the side there is the black wire. Drill a hole, that's the scary part. And get these cables through and install everything back. And then connect the red and black wire that runs here directly to this line. So that's why I kept them long. It will not win any beauty prizes as always. But I'm sure there's a little tape that can fix this. So I've hid it behind this little box here. <laughs> and also, yeah, I had to destroy my goggles for the last diversity mod so I just need a few more stickers for <laughs> these goggles but they still hold up pretty well and that's that's one thing that really speaks for them fat sharks you can modify them even with with uh, modification skills like I have like DIY skills of my level you cannot break them easily so they are nice and easy to repair, to work on. And I had many, many hours of flight with them. So it definitely makes sense spending a little extra on good quality goggles.